Hey everyone, so today we look into my latest release. Yay! Enough! We just got enough. Uh, just release it last week or last month, sometimes around that. So today we will look into the project, like why I made it, like what instrument I used, some tricks that I think is pretty cool, pretty interesting. And yeah, let's see. So it's pretty interesting how it starts because um, I don't have a really solid idea how the songs will start. Like I have an idea like I want to try to create, I try to merge electronic music or and electronic music and metal music together. So in order to do it, in order to do it, I think like uh, maybe I can, I know try something like a soundscape. I don't know if it's called soundscape like a. Film score like um epic vibe feeling thing so um like a cowboy I don't know uh, how I describe it how I describe this part is um cowboy I'll say cowboy so there are three fake guitar because um I I want a guitar really be aggressive really uh strength sound like really high end sharp and bright sound so it is the first one. Second one, you can hear three of them are quite bright, really sharp, not like playing lilan guitar. I don't know, I just feel like it's um it's an aggressive song, so it has to be really really um aggressive on the texture. So um, let's start with three fake guitar and slowly building up to some vocal and the bass comes in. I recorded vocal for this one as well. I don't know. I just feel like kind of enchanting something. Like a group of people standing together, having a mysterious cult or something like that, and they would make some kind of weird low voice. So it's exactly the same as the um, guitars playing, and then it kind of slowly die out. Oh, I also have a water drum here. Texture. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you realize I had some sound effects in this song, which is some wind blowing sound, some leaves, some I don't know, some sand sound effect. Just trying to make it more cinematic. Oh, just a little bit background of that is because uh, there's a protest happening in Hong Kong. I'm from Hong Kong, and uh, we try to protest on the street with like we have a million people, literally a million people on the street protesting, but uh, somehow the government's still not answering us. So I feel a bit disappointed and really in huge anger. So. I feel like as a musician, I'm trying to express my thoughts, so I put kind of all of them into this, and so this one's kind of about propaganda, like uh, you do what you do, but even you do what you do, the government or the whoever company we won't listen to you. They still try to sell or give you what they want you to do. Yep. So back in the music. So in the music. Um, there, it, there are like some high pitch voice. I don't know how to say it. You listen and you tell me. Like that is my voice. I'm trying to um make it sorrowful, like um like someone is howling, like quite lonely, and and then keep going. 
Nothing can do with you I'm so tired of this system I'm so tired of this planet Hope with hope Yep, like, this is like, everything comes together Everything comes in together and Yep Just keep going, keep going The piano get louder Spread, wi spread wider, maybe? Yeah, it is, so play, play heavier and still the pre-chorus, I think. I think this part is kind of still the pre-chorus. And then, finally, and there's a tempo change. It was, uh, what well, it was? It was 114 to 137. And then when it actually comes into the song, it went to uh, 201. Actually, this one, I start the whole thing as one piece, as one song, but... um. Cause somehow I think commercial wise, the these two part like the pre-chorus and pre-pre-chorus is too not commercial friendly. So I decide to cut it into two pieces. So that's why you can like hear it on Spotify, however where it is, you can hear it's two pieces. Like the first one is the pre-chorus and pre-pre-chorus, and then when the new the real song is actually start from the intro or the music break, which is written here anyway okay the real intro all right the interesting thing about this part or this song start from here because um this guitar is actually acoustic guitar. I don't have electronic guitar at that moment while I was composing this song. So what I do, I just have my electric guitar in my bag. And um, grab it, it's an electric acoustic, so I plug it in, play something, and then just put the um, guitar effect on it. So um, it turned out it worked perfectly to me, not so weird not so crazily distorted on audio signal um yeah and yeah and for this part something interesting about is the electronic stuff So it's kind of like everything's everywhere, like the percussion is not um, steadily sticking with something. Maybe they are, but not, like they, they keep changing things. Yeah, like, like kind of unpredictable, I don't know. But to me, it's quite unpredictable when I listen the first time after a while. Alright, and the wobble is quite important here, the wobble sound. So I do it, I just um, open the software Omnisphere, Molds of the electronic sound I made from Omnisphere. And um, what I did, I just opened Omnisphere, mess with the oscillation, I remember. So just drag it, drag the rhythm I want, and that's it. And super useful. All right. So this part is kind of quite loud. So it's start from this one. Kind of like a riser, but it's like a random sound. I have no idea how to describe that. <laughs> I don't know, it's just too weird. So I think, yeah, it works. So I just put it there. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> So the rhythm on these two, what I'm thinking is like, like kind of drum, like <laughs> Like kick, kick, and stay. <laughs> so you can hear kind of rhythm here. Yeah, 
like that. So, um, and the interesting thing about this one. But yeah, like I said, I'm trying to merge uh, electronic stuff with metal music. So I was thinking to have some percussive instrument, but um, rather have like a real snare or tom, I try to find something sounds. Yeah, fun. I would say fun. Like so, I try to find something function the same, and um, got the same purpose or some thing, but just in electronic sound, like made by waveform instead of recording from acoustic sound. In case you don't know, the song, the guitar of this song is in job D tuning. It has to be because it's a metal song. So if it's not a job tune, job tuning guitar, job tuning music, it's not metal music. Said by me, you're welcome. Yep, I I was in metal band and I was playing guitar with that, and so I kind of composed everything with the um, guitar first. So I grab my acoustic guitar, playing things, and that's how it is. Oh yeah, and that moment, I kind of not qualified to be metal music just based on my gear. Because I don't have a real drum, I don't have a, a bass, I don't have a real electronic guitar. I don't even scream in this song, so um, so I have a fake guitar, fake bass and fake drum in this one. So you can hear the bass is super fake. Which is playing exactly the same as the guitar. Yep, and um, the drum. Some typical stuff. Yep, pretty cool. And what is this? I have no idea. Actually, forgot I add those sounds into that. So, I think I remember because because um I tried to have some high frequency on top. Like I I already have high frequency guitar, but I want some high mid. So I add this, and it's kind of cooperate with the electronic stuff. You can hear it. So the first one. So you can hear the real guitar tone here. There's nothing, no plugin I use, just the tone of my el electric acoustic guitar. Yep, so I start composing with the and uh, you can hear the vocal somewhere here. You are the chain, everybody the game, you don't pretend to the service you made. It's the raw vocal. Uh, I tried to do, if you heard of uh, Duality from Snipnox, uh, it's a really good song, good music, and I'm trying to kind of mimic the idea, mimic the feeling of that, like kind of really, I would say, like speaker voice, like really high cut, low cut, like radio tone, however you say it, like, um, like you hold the speaker and you say through it, that's the tone of that thing from the music. Trying to do that, and they're pretty fun. If you are the train, everybody is going to stop. Oh, that's interesting. Billy Bob Cup, Billy Wahimei! So this wild 
this this part in the verse is all my song. Uh, all my four. Yeah, they are all my voice. I, I do I have it? Yeah, I do have it. So it's here. These are my voice. Have a listen. And then this is part thing I use. Just ignore the like EQ and the compressor. So this is the original voice. Truly my voice. And I pitched up. Not much different, and I picked it up again with an other software or a plugin. So, quite a childish voice, and I, I tried to do that because I know I just feel like that part is like using the children's voice is like a commercial human always do a trick like that, like a face of baby in the uh, advertisement, a face of child smiling or child running on the grass, whatever they're doing. Like they always use this element to capture your eyeball in order to make you feel like that product is kind of organic, kind of cool, kind of pure. So I decided to put that in the song because since the song's kind of about propaganda, so maybe creepy, but I don't care. It kind of works. Double guitar here. It's pretty typical thing. I think in metal music, like it's always not always. Sometimes you start with just one or two um, guitar, like quiet one uh, with high cut and low cut. And um, after a while, after a while, it just comes in with another one, like one pan left, one pan right, to make it wider. Guitar, bass, bass here is super fake. You can hear more, I think. They sound terrible. I have no idea, but thanks to my engineer, he saved me. Jeez, the bass is pretty thick here. Um, yep, the electronic percussion. Scenes emphasize I want to merge electronic music into metal music. And in order, I think, um, to show that idea more, I choose to use some uh, electronic stuff, sound like this. It is just for the texture, not necessarily to be really um, audible, like like obviously audible. Like um, it's just for the like really high sharp attack. Tick, 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 what I'm thinking. To me, it's kind of like a machine smacking an auto machine. <laughs> Yeah, because in uh, in my mind about old Western advertisement, they have some kind of what uh, um, cowboy Western voice. I'm gonna say cowboy a lot in this video because kind of one of the kind of theme in this thing. But like, yeah, the advertisement they like have the really nasally old American. Old seventy American voice like hi, how are you man? What you gonna do? Like that. So I tried to do that here and originally it my sound sound like my voice sound like this. He's the top ten lifestyle you wanna have. Actually my voice, totally my voice. He's the top ten lifestyle you wanna Pitch it up, compress it, um and um EQ it. It's the top 10 lifestyle you wanna have. Sounds really close and add distortion on the last one. It's the top 10 lifestyle you wanna have. So yeah, it is what I have. Ah, oh, top lot, jeez. Ah, uh, okay.
music break after this the music break all right let's start with um same thing i start composing with the guitar first i think is is it this one i think so And I apply a stereo delay. I think this one is the the first thing I compose because it's the quite loud part. Then I think you gotta pretty loud, and then gotta be quiet down now. Um, and then compose the guitar. Every time it's like that. When I finish something and I listen it again, there's always a melody or something that popped up in my mind. I don't know. Is it the same to you? But it always works and. It pops up in my mind for the bass. So, do, 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 do. so the thing that I'm doing here, I'm trying to. You can hear like the bass is kind of up and down, up and down, up and down a lot, pretty pretty wide on the range. I don't know. I'm just trying to um make it sound pretty jumpy. Because you have, we have like a really steady uh, guitar melody here already. The, 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 yeah, pretty steady. And then I'm trying to make it groovy with the bass because um, kind of low frequency. So I can either like just play a low note or just keep playing uh, eighth, uh, eighth note or sixteen, however, like really steady note. But instead, I played this one because. Because it's quite empty for this part, it's not like that busy. Everything's pretty damn loud here. It's not like that, it's kind of quiet part. So I just have that idea. It's kind of dragging a little bit as well, these notes, to me. It's pretty fun to play with that, and yeah, the percussive synthesizer tone texture thing is still running here. Yeah, it it doesn't sound good at all if you just listen it by itself. But when everything comes together, it's just kind of a little bit touch up for the texture for the attack to me. And after that, I think I compose with the guitar. called Genjo however but it's trying to make it sound like a like a choppy with the make thing so two guitar one on the right one on in the center and for the drum I'm pretty proud of the drum this part because I trying to experiment a little bit on the drum so it is what it is you can just hear by with them without the drum. Let's do it this way. The drum is really weird here. Let's, it's not quite a with them make all like 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 a really steady like dun dun da da dun da dun dun like that. Not like that. It's really fluent, not really structured. I mean, you can see the pattern, but it's not something we will hear all the time. So, like, uh, if you listen to some music like August Burn Red. Animals leader, even maybe Polyphia, like some old music from Polyphia, and um, what else? Like, like they 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 have some kind of op 
not off time, like kind of offbeat thing, like syncopation happening in um, the on drum. So to make it sound interesting, not just something boring, cool, and uh, move on. Next part. This tiny four bar, I call it tiny four. Is it actually four bars? One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, six bars. It's super weird why I have six bars here, not four, not eight. Not, um, typically people will have a break with. But I have a six bar here. It's pretty interesting, though, these six bars. I, because it's kind of, I need another break after this part. pretty busy so I need another break but I don't I still want to keep the vibe I don't want like guitar strumming boring super boring so what I do I start with guitar first uh, the bass guitar and then so what I'm thinking is um I'll say it because I feel it's pretty cool if everything dies down just the bass like a tiny six bars gap doing like like super heavy low frequency slide down to the lowest note he can do so that's what I have now like especially this one yeah it's definitely doing I call it sound effect because I don't know. I don't know how to call it. I I want to call it bass, but it's, it is bass on frequency. But it's not actually bass instrument. It's just like a bass notes. So I call it sound effect. I know. Hmm. What's this one? I think this one's for the if texture, the high one. Yeah, it's because how I, for this one I'm trying to make um. I don't know, like, you know, like the things called clipping effect, like clipping. Um, so when the music's too loud, it's louder the meter or the software can afford, can support, it will distort the audio. So that's what I'm trying to do here to make some kind of clipping sound. <sighs> All right. For the string here, um, it's, I don't know how to say it, it's, I'm trying to do, because everything's kind of like a bit old, like the, what I'm saying, the elements, like the advertising, advertising voice, like the guitar tone and stuff, like, like I mean, in the pre pre cut the first, very, very first, very first three fake guitar, they're pretty old, like, like, that's what I think, like, pretty sure I'm not like some, Thing that I will hear in modern days, like more like cowboy thing. So um, what I think I'm trying to do like is quite nostalgic on the kind of a string sound here. To me, this is quite kind of string sound, like a horror old movie sound. Um, so I decided it would be amazing if I put it here because it's quite fake. Oh, there's a piano here, I don't even know. Oh, so it's playing the same thing as the guitar, guitar on previous one. Is it? Yeah, it is. And these, these five claps, I think. Four claps. I stole it. I can't stole it. I, I actually have a reference for that. It's from Ender Shikari. It's called something called "You're Not a Loser" or something. <laughs> um, so I remember the time code, but I don't know the song. It's um, it's around twenty nine seconds, twenty eight seconds. It's called "Sorry, You're Not a Winner." It's around twenty nine or twenty eight seconds. So the exactly the same. Everything stopped. Just the uh, 
clapping sound and that's it. What? Kind of build up to the next part. And some interesting thing here is the the T sound. I don't know how to say it. It's I made it with my mouth uh, because everything is pretty fake here. The bass is super fake. The uh, sound effect two stems super fake. The claps kind of grill. The um, the rise is also fake. So um. Is it? Did I made it this way? I I don't even know how I made it. Like that with my mouth, like side of my mouth. So I found it quite aggressive, quite like like when people doing this, you find it annoying. So I found it. I I just do it like why not? So it jumps to the chorus. Finally, the chorus. Here for the cor vocal on the chorus. Can do with you. I'm so tired. I, I don't know. I I don't want to say it in this way, but things like, like seems like she claims it. It's like the Billy Eilish voice in Barry in a friend. Barry a friend. Barry a friend. Barry in a friend. What I'm saying, but it's like that same idea, but I didn't intentionally take it from her. I just feel like because it's um lead. I'm gonna find some people. People out there. What you gonna do? Yep, and I I I think from this song, starting from this song, I start um experimenting vocal harmony. So you can hear like my previous voice. I rarely have any vocal harmony on songs. So I try to do that. I pitch down this one. I'm gonna find some people. I think it's my uh, minus five. People out there. What you got? So this should be uh meet the the normal one in the middle and the high one pitched up uh plus three is on the right and the minus five is on the left. It's kind of like um several people singing this line. It's kind of like sounds like that. Like oh you are not. Doing what you don't do, people are doing, putting things into your mind. It's kind of like that. So you can hear the wobble or the tremolo bass is actually the same as this one, the pre, uh, the one in previous part. It's exactly the same. And some more. This one's for the high frequency, I think, meet high. Same as this one. This one's come, coming a bit late now on the first part. So let's do the same thing. Yeah, it's kind of like. Uh, Introducing new instrument on the vocal after melody, main melody on the vocal. I was experimenting. What should I do? And stuff. And same thing. It just pop up, pop up into my mind about the how the melody sound like after this part, after this three. It's totally improvising while I was doing this. Why all the tune? I don't know. I just feel like it fits, and I put it here. And for the guitar here, I think it's just drumming. As you can hear, the drum is really um, quiet compared with the previous part. It just like keep hitting snare. Find some people out there. What you gonna do? That easy. So in order to keep uh, the groove going, besides the drum and the tremolo synth, I add um, 
acoustic uh, guitar strumming. Which also I'll do more of the following part. And on the second ha half of this chorus. So kind of um, introduce the main melody for the next part. So I'm trying to like introduce a new thing for the previous session so that introduce the thing will be the main thing for the next part. Hope it makes sense. So you, you listen this main melody again for the next part. And yeah, interesting thing about the percussion thing, I'm trying to um, syncopate a bit, like the distorted uh, percussion. Like don't get tricked down. Yep, it's um, it's kind of syncopated things happening because everything's really steady. The 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 tremolo is steady, the, the other synthesizer is steady. The vocal is really steady too, not jumping really up and down on the range. Also, of the guitars, drumming, lead, bass. Is there any bass? There's even no bass even on this one. So the tremolo take away like like take over for the bass. So um. So I need something to like keep jumping around, kind of really choppy. So uh, that's why I use this. Really crazy thing, quite messed up. If you don't mix it well, I think. Kind of like uh, for this one. I really like this one. It's kind of like a symbol, like a crush to me on drum. Like kind of function the same to me. Like all this crazy percussion smashing, being smashed, and you have one like a final one. I tell you, yeah, it's done now. Let's start another cycle, like that. Then yeah, I one thing of this part is uh the push down vocal. Also improvising again. I have no idea. I I don't even know what it's saying. What it's singing. So my original voice is like this. Tide of it's tide of it's tide of. Push top. Or down, up, down. Of, it's tied of. A bit. Um, high cut, low cut, distorted. Of, and uh, focal transformed it. Of, it's of, it's and at ensemble for the last one. Of, it's of, it's of, it's it's kind of like slowly leading you there. It's gonna have a meltdown. I love this. I don't know how I came up with that idea, but I just love It's so good. I don't know. I just love the texture of that sound. It's like soup getting really clean and then not clean, but even it's not clean, you can still. I still have this satisfied uh, frequency, like low, crunchy fe frequency. Toy move this thing is so cool to me. So during that it formally or formally is do you say formally introduced I uh, formally, yeah. I grandly with all the mana to introduce this track. The main melody for the next one. Slogan building system in our soul. So same uh, music break four. So I um, you can hear that the drum is playing the same thing, not a lot happening, just simple pattern.
like that. So I let the base and the tremolo base to take over the low frequency. The bass was bass playing. Nothing, not a lot as well, but I did spend a little bit of time on the drumming pattern. You can hear there are three drumming thing or four. Where's this? Ah, yeah, three drumming thing. is the same as the previous part and this one so all of them are kind of different a little bit but the main group is kind of the same or I don't know but, but when they all come together uh, it is This here, that here, kind of playing with your ear a little bit. Because I think it's kind of still need the high mid or mid frequency to have a little bit of support. Because it's still a song, right? So, um, so I think it would be great if there's some chord thing happening. So you can listen without it. I prefer with a little bit chord tone thing happening because it's too empty for me. I don't know. I just ha have have to have it here. And then and the second half there's a high. Yep, to kind of increase the um what's it called uh, uh tension. And then keep going, keep going. And the last thing, the outro. So I use the same thing, the same guitar thing. But I add tremolo on this one. I don't know, I just kind of overproduce sometimes, but I like it. Like, you don't have to add tremolo technically, like. It's fine. It's fine itself. Right? Like... You can hear without tremolo. Yeah, I, I prefer with tremolo. I don't know. Kind of still... Tell you that it's still ongoing. Like... Because there's a tremolo synth and now there's tremolo guitar, like kind of uh, the coherence is kind of a little bit better in my mind, I don't know. So back in the start, using the same water drum in the first one, it's the same thing but just different track. I don't know why I did that. I just think like because. This is the outro, so it's kind of died down, but um, I still want to have a groove, like a little bit groove, not crazy groove from the previous part. So like a tiny water drum. And the wood. It's kind of subtle, not so obvious. Like just a little bit scattered thing here and there. Keep going. And yeah, the water drum. Improvise, I have no idea. It just came up in my mind for the melody. Dum 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 bum 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 bum.
keep building up. Uh, like for the outro, only for the outro, it's kind of like it's kind of quiet, right? And build up a little bit, and then kind of shortcut instantly. Then that's how it ends. Um, so I have a riser here. Yep, just kind of just cut it instantly. And interesting thing, because I've I told you. I don't know, I just think it's some kind of cowboy vibe subtly, unconsciously in my mind. So what I do, I add horse running sound. Yep, horse running sound, you can hear <laughs> all together. Yep, all cut down instantly. I just like the idea how, like, kind of telling you, yeah, something's happening, but no, I'm sorry, I don't care, bye. So yeah, how, this is the song, this is the breakdown of the song. It totally takes around two, three years to produce. Yeah, like the, the, the production stage is kind of okay, took around two months or something and uh, the hardest part is actually the mixing part because you can see there are like at least a hundred of stems to my engineer ignore all this gray part think that uh, there may be around 50 of them are gray or in gray color or even this one's not using what was not using so there are around 50 stems are empty I think so I understand, gave it to my engineer, I'm mixing back and forth, he's he's in England. So the time difference is terrible, exhausting. Uh, finally made it done, and yeah, if you want to listen to it, it's on Spotify, or even a link in my bio, and oh yeah, there's a um, free guitar tab if you want to know how to play this song, guitar is in drop tuning, unfortunately I'm not gonna, is it even possible to transpose it? into standard E tuning? No, it's not because the lowest notes is D but the standard tuning lowest note is E so it's not possible to drop to, to transpose it. Um, you wanna how to play it? Just go in the description everything's in the description thanks so much for watching this if there's anything you want no more anything you're not clear let me know I'm totally happy to tell you or maybe I won't I don't care anyway see ya bye bye